guys and ghouls so as promised i'm finally coming back to my doll's house last time i did this was either last summer or the summer before <laughs> um it's just been sat here it's been moved about um so i picked up some new doll's house furniture the other day um from a free facebook page that basically just if you have something that you think someone else would like but you can't be bothered to sell you can give it away for free so someone had some really gorgeous um little bits of furniture so i thought i'd pick it up um and then go through um my doll's house and see kind of what state it's in because it has been a really long time since i've done anything to it and as you can see everything has fallen over um and it's not in the best state because it's had a little whirlwind as it's been moved from room to room. Um, so today I thought I'd just basically go through and work out what needs doing and potentially where bits of furniture could go. Um, yeah, so that's what I thought I would do. Um, and maybe show you a few things as I do it because it has been quite a long time since we have entered into the doll's house. Um, so my doll's house does have some lights so I need to get some new batteries for the bat lights I have actually got some more bat lights here um, which I got in one of my Halloween boxes so I think I'll probably put those on the next next one down um, so I'll probably just go one room at a time really um, so we'll start with the bedroom so this is the main bedroom yes the main bedroom so i've got a little table i'm just gonna move all this stuff that's fallen oh no the little um the little halloween happy halloween bunting has fallen not even sure how I stuck. Oh, I think I stuck up with a sticker. I've taken my happy Halloween bunting off just because it was falling. We'll sort that out. Um, this is the bed, which has little bat bedding made out of a tea towel, um, a little cat that's asleep on it, um, cushions and ghost plushes. Oh goodness, everything in here has fallen. Push that back in. Move this to the side. So I'm going to put the bed back in. And then we have the little chest of drawers there. And on the chest of drawers, I made this cute little lamp. So I'll go up there. I think that's needle felted, a little needle felted bat plush to go on the bed and a little pipe cleaner cat also for the bed. See I made lots of those oh. and then got a little jug which I'm gonna paint those but that's what goes at the back for now. Um, over here I was sent this gorgeous little pumpkin miniature sorry about the red on my fingers I'm currently dyeing my hair um, little pumpkin there I've got a top hat for some reason I think that can just hang on the edge of the bed <laughs> um, I was given this really cool little bat plastic bat charm um, I like to stick that to the wall so I add that to my sticking pile um, my sister made me this miniature witch's ball which I'm going to put next to the lamp um, also got this skull charm which again can go next to the lamp um, and then I have a variety of different styles of pumpkins so I have um, polymer clay pumpkins, some of which I made, some of which I bought. And then also these seeds. 
and these seeds look just like pumpkins again I just bought these online um, so I'm just gonna dot the pumpkins around because it's a Halloween house I have this tiny little pumpkin mug and I'll put that by the bed because that's where my pumpkin mug lives Let's just dot these pumpkins about I've got this cute little witch's broom and then the witch's broom is situated next to this which I made a video about how I made it, it was one of my first miniature creation pieces inspired by the Midnight Crafter so I'll put that, pop that back in and then I have loads of these little kittens and they're so tiny and they fall off all the time um, so I probably will glue them but for now I'm just going to put them on top of those the display cabinet thing and then last but not least oh no yeah that's in the wrong place last but not least I have cross stitched this little rug so that's the bedroom reorganised hopefully you can see it's got like pumpkin bat wallpaper which I genuinely would love in my actual house there's Halloween decorations stuck on the walls um, there's some on this wall as well that's where the bunting was but as I said I need to sort that out so let's move on to the room underneath which is like the dining area and the stairs go back down and I've lined all the stairs with like a red velvet okay honestly it's been so long that I've since I've done anything in here um, and I don't know if you've seen any of my recent vlogs um, I haven't put my update video up yet but I am planning to be moving house soon so I'm gonna have to move this with me and when I move this will be on display and open rather than shut and hidden in a spare room so right at the back I've got this display cabinet and inside are just some little jars that I got from the works and I would like to add like more oddities and stuff in there that's currently just at the back very unreasonable if this was a real house because you wouldn't be able to walk very far when you get up the stairs I have this which is waiting upon some more little as I said oddities and books and things to go on there I thought these opened but Oh no, they do. They do open. So that goes along here. On the wall, I do have um, some little pictures that I cross-stitched. Um, I then have this, which I just really like this cabinet. I've got a cabinet just like this actually in my house. So <laughs> it is literally the miniature version. So I've just got like little pumpkins on this one. Is that broken? No, it's just wonky. So I'll put that there. I don't know why it's got dust on it and I have this really really tiny picture frame that does actually function um, so when we move out I'm gonna put a picture probably of my bedroom in there so that I remember what my bedroom looked like I can go back on there anything else which I think this is on there it was like a little pumpkin carving book I thought that it's kind of cute with all the other pumpkins then I have this gorgeous sofa. I didn't do anything to like reupholster it. It just came looking this gorgeous with a little pumpkin. Um, this is just a part of some like pumpkin bunting that I just cut off. And then on the table, I have a tiny little Halloween card. Um, did I glue these on or are they just no, it has just been there for a long time. Let's get the dust off of that. I'll put the table back in. On the table I have these little Halloween cookies made out of polymer clay. I have a tiny little cup and saucer with a bat on it. Like a little hot chocolate situation. I can't 
can't decide if I should glue all of this stuff in place so it doesn't keep falling off. Um, as I said, I've got this little like oddities jewelry box that does open. So I'll probably just put that on top shelf. Got some more cat figurines to go on the sofa. And I like to have one like looking up at the table. Again, potentially we'll glue that. Got a ton of pumpkins. I got this gorgeous trick or treat um, Halloween decoration, which I think I'll put and move that along. Go there. And then I made these fireplaces, which have all held up quite nicely. I literally want this Glock so bad. Um, a few bits have randomly fallen into it, but there's the fireplace that I made. Let's put that there. In the fireplace <laughs> was this little like Halloween looking pansy, which I guess could go in the fireplace. <laughs> and a little bottle of Volvic. Not really sure why I've got that, but I'll put that there. I have this gargoyle, but this gargoyle is being glued to the top of the house at some point. have a miniature coke and then on the floor I have this which is actually a spooky box club um, patch but I think I just threw it in here because I thought it'd be quite a cool rug and I have a ton of pumpkins which can just sit around looking pumpkin -y. and last but not least I have a miniature candle which is actually made out of a birthday candle which again can just go on the side so that's kind of how that room looks um i think i will take the camera down to do the bottom room but actually that one is looking pretty pretty good it's not looking too unorganized okay so this is how it looks um, it's actually very organised compared to the other rooms. <laughs> Got this crazy gnome which will be going in the garden area. Um, little coat stand. This one doesn't have a proper um, fireplace yet. That's on my list of things to do. Do you have this cute little cauldron though that I've just chucked where the fireplace goes? On the table there is like a whole party scene which I'll just take you in to see because I don't want to lift it all up because it's still in a good space. Um, at the back there there's like a witch's table and chairs. Again let me just move my, my light. Got a little trick or treating witch's table more drawers, more cookies and sweeties. Let's push those drawers in. Got this little cat that has escaped. Um, and a telephone, not sure. I think the telephone was meant to be here. A little umbrella to hang up on here. Oh, that was stuck to the floor. This says spooky time, but I think the stick has lost all of its stick. So I'll add that to my gluing pile. I also have this grandfather's clock, which I forgot actually goes on this level. Just to show you, that's the little cross stitch and the spooky picture that's on the wall. Right, next we have the spiderweb themed bathroom. You can really see that I have not done anything with the ceiling in here. Um, so again, in here I've got another one of these skulls, which I think is meant to be a bath mat. Again, let's just drag everything out that seems to have fallen. Right, so at the back I've got this kind of like modesty divide, it's just grey on one side, that goes right at the back. I guess that's where they get changed behind. Then we have 
bath, which I very much would love my bath to look like this. With pumpkins and bats. Oh, what's that? Oh, the boiler. I've got a little like hot water boiler. That's just let's put it back in the corner. Where this is now like in the corner of an actual room in my in my house, it makes it a lot harder to to get to. Um I'm kind of blindly fishing in there. Got this kind of storage thing for towels. Um again another little towel my bob i think i may have knitted that it's like a little glittery towel have a little i think it's a resin a resin gravestone which lives in the bathroom for fun toilet matches the bath with the pumpkins. Oh, there's a kitten in here. I think that was just living on the toilet. Um, and then a little matching chest of drawers to go with the other shelves. In here, there's also this mirror, which is like a medicine cabinet. Um, I think actually the medicine cabinet was just stood there ready to be glued. Then I have a few other things like a ghost um, and a tiny little gravestone which I'm going to take out because they are in my gluing pile. So I'll take those out. Pumpkins can be redispersed as usual. I'm going to take out this um, spooky box club patch because I just don't feel like it works very well. But the the bunting in the bathroom has stayed up, which is good. That's kind of how it looks. And then the other bunting was on the opposite wall on that side, if that makes sense. So next up is the living room area. It's not looking well actually it's looking quite bad in there i've got my coffin shelves that i made these are including real oddities taxidermy bits and stuff really pleased with how that turned out um this is using a cardboard box from hobbycraft um, they currently are selling these coffin boxes in Hobbycraft right now, so if you are wanting to make one, they still sell them. Then back there, there is a desk with like a skull on it. There are definitely things falling in here. Got this incredibly boring vase that needs repainting and a horrible lamp that needs repainting. Oh, they said this is still just a a work in progress and on that drawer at the back as well there is a mini doll's house that I wanted to paint someone gave me this gorgeous miniature for Halloween decoration and it goes just with this display shelf and on this shelf there are pre-made just like blocks that look like they're books um, then we have the kind of dining room table, although I'm realising there's no chairs or sofa. What happened to my sofa? I had a sofa. Is it in the roof? Oh, it is in the roof. Why have I moved it to the roof? <laughs> I've got this cute little sofa that I made. Put that back in there. <laughs> How dare it be moved? Um, and the party has come up to here. So we've got a little um, cobweb. Oh. Got a little cobweb tablecloth, a pumpkin light. And they've got little drinks. I'm coming to conclusion, I need to spend some time just gluing. I may do a bit of gluing today. 
because this stuff is so cute but it just falls all over the place where it's not been glued. I think it's because I used to alter them a bit if that makes sense. Got some Halloween bunting, a photo frame with my cat in it. Um, up here we've got a Halloween card, um, some candles, a witch's ball, more candles um, and some wood and stuff. It's funny to see how like my my style changed and how I used to do candles and I just started using real candles instead. Right, donut has escaped. Baby tiny donut. That is to be glued. So that's kind of that room. My little pumpkin room. Genuinely wish I had a room like that in my actual life. Right, there's a Halloween card that's just fallen down. Put that there. And then I'll have a think about gluing. <laughs> Seems like today is a gluing day because I mean, the kitchen is not too bad. It just needs a bit of a reorganise. But unfortunately, that is the hardest room for me to reach. It's got a big American fridge, a little dining table. The chair has fallen down. It's got an oven and cooking things going on and another display cabinet. So I'm just going to pick up all of this. It's fallen. Little spices or something, um, and then I'm gonna reorganize that later. This is one of my favorite pumpkins, it's got a little mouse eating it, it's so cute. And that was living in the kitchen because there's mice in the kitchen. And for anyone who's new here, um, the walls are decorated with wallpaper that I've printed off and the floors are mainly decorated either in felt carpets or um, these are actual off cuttings of wallpaper that you can buy from B&Q um, and proper flooring that you can buy for kitchen floors but I thought that just looked really cool in there like a vinyl. So let's have a look at the things I have left over and that I've collected. Some of it is in the roof um, I have got some really cool stuff in the roof of the house, not my actual roof. Like this old school sewing table. As I said, the roof is a whole nother, <laughs> a whole nother realm. So I've got a blue grandfather's clock, which I'm gonna put in the roof. This little oddities frame, which I'm gonna stick in on probably the living room. I have a old school, Hoover that can go in. A I think that's meant to be an umbrella which can go on the umbrella stand. Flower for the kitchen. A guitar that was actually um hangs on the tree, so I may do something with that. Not dolls house related. Give it to my sister maybe. I've got a phone, but this phone is massive, so I don't think I'm gonna use that. <laughs> I've got this. Um, like solid, just as decorative item, little <laughs> vampire, I'm sure he can go somewhere. And then another umbrella, oh that was proper metal candlestick. And then the rest of the bits that I got out of the kitchen, so Let's just quickly put those away. Stuff that I got for free. So, I thought we can have a look and see if anything can replace stuff I've already got. That makes sense. So, I'm gonna have to put you wonky. I'm resting you on my lap. Got this gorgeous dresser. Hello. Um, I do like it, it's just the wrong color. So I'll probably put that in the roof. This little table, which is really pretty. Um, where could I put this? I guess it could go. No, it looks weird in the kitchen. Okay, 
could go in the study maybe got these chairs which again are quite um the wrong color or a little seat and that could really easily be reupholstered to look nice um and then that can be put in the living the more formal living room maybe for a little cat to sleep on got stuff that's obviously meant for like a baby changing table and matching cot yuck a lovely dressing table and there are drawers for this um, it is white so it will need to be painted but I wonder if I can put this somewhere in the bedroom because that would be well actually I say that this one would be nicer in the bedroom because it's got a mirror I'll chuck it up there and then hopefully I can find oh no it's missing a leg oh dear maybe not maybe this one will be better then that mm, maybe I can make a leg for that I can go in there we've also got some of these little soft seats that can go in the roof just a little cabinet like a bedside cabinet which is cute um got proper looking bedside cabinets which I actually have just got some in real life that are like this like that two of those another one of this style and this massive one that's meant for a kitchen so I'm just gonna have a little play around a little rearrange and then see what I can do see what can go where Okay, so I've put some stuff in the roof. Anything that didn't fit in downstairs is now in the roof. Um, and some stuff I've put in there, like this little dressing table I went with, that's the wrong colour, it looks really out of place. But um, I wanted to just put it all in so I could see if it would all fit first, which it does. Um, and now I can start gluing stuff. So what I think I'm going to do is just get a little pot of PVA glue, put some newspaper on the carpet um, and then just glue stuff and put it back in as I'm doing it, if that makes sense, um, rather than carrying it all into another room and carrying it back again.
Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. What I've done is I've gone through every table. So there's a table in here, um, basically in these four bottom rooms, and I've glued everything that was on the table to the table, if that makes sense, so that I can now move it without having to worry about everything falling off the tables. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there because the other tables and things need painting, um, and I will continue with my gluing once they are done. So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments or want to know where I got any of this, some of it's crafted, some of it I bought off of Etsy and some of it was gifted, please do let me know. So thank you for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time. Bye.